Hey, what is up guys? This is Chris and I'm back with more Everyday RC. First, let me start off by wishing everyone out there a happy new year. I wish everyone out there a healthy and prosperous 2015. So with that being said, this is my first video of 2015 and I just wanted to make a quick update. Nothing crazy, just tell you what's been going on in my RC world and to wish you all a happy new year. So, I've been doing a lot of work on the Rustler Mamba Monster, and some of you are probably wondering what's been going on with that. And I've just finished a whole bunch of work on here, so I just wanted to show you this real quick and say Happy New Year to all you guys. So, first off, of course you are seeing a freshly painted body, and of course we're representing number one right on there, Everyday RC, that's right, since we have the stickers now. So this is a freshly painted body. This will be my show body as of right now. I'm going to utilize the stock body that I bought with it. And we're gonna use this for our runs right now. So until we crack this one up majorly, we'll be uh, using this one as our show body. And I'm really happy with how it came out. I did a uh, gunmetal silver theme on it with the black carbon fiber. Now I had to modify a few things on here because we're trying to push big numbers and we had to work with some aerodynamic issues on the vehicle. So first off, we had to weigh down the front. So you are looking at a custom front weight for the RPM front bumper. This is made out of steel and it adds a couple of extra ounces to the front. Okay, so that's gonna help with the blowovers, I'm hoping because this was about another half a pound that I added to the front here. And I'm really happy with the way that it looks. I wrapped it with the black carbon fiber so that it adds a little bit more aerodynamic to it. So that should help out a lot. And we did have some airflow issues because I am one of the few people that want to use the rustler bodies. And what's basically happening is that air is rushing in and getting trapped within the body and I believe that's what's also contributing to the blowovers. So we did vent here, right here in the front. And actually I'll show you here on my run body. As you can see I vented here on the front. Exactly what I've done to this is what I've done to that. So I vented there and as you can see in the back I have vented these three areas to allow the air to flow basically through the body and hopefully we can uh, slice through that that air like a razor if you know what I mean and I did straighten out my rear spoiler just to help with the aerodynamics so I'm not going to be wheeling as much okay and of course I did make the aluminum rear wheelie bar no more t-bone rear bumper I actually cracked the rear uh, T-bone rear bumper in half when I did one of my blowovers and believe it or not I kept running and it was running faster with the broken rear bumper so that was telling me that yes it did need to be straight and I believe uh, Jess 34753 had suggested I do this as well so I made this out of a piece of aluminum and it's a quarter inch of aluminum as you can see and we just wrap the top with the carbon fiber and I believe with all those things I have changed as you can tell we're going to allow the air to just flow straight right out the back and you like that gear mesh I know I love that sound too it's a heavy gear mesh right there but that's basically what I've been doing so let me just give you guys a quick test right here just to show you the power that this has. Now you know that I am running 6S, I am running two max amps. These are the batteries that I'm normally running in here. These are dual max amps, 5450, 11.1 .1 volt, 120 C burst, guys. Okay, two of these bad boys. But when I do my shakedown runs and I'm just warming up, I do run Venom, as you can see. I do like Venom batteries. Some people don't have too much luck with the Venoms, but honestly, I haven't had too much of a problem with Venoms, and I think they're a great battery for the price, and they're very reliable. So let me give you guys a quick test. Now, these are 
for us. So that's what I was trying to explain to you guys that when I do my high speed runs, it's with 6S, but my warm up runs and just when I'm tinkering around, have to test some of my receivers and things of that nature, I'll just throw in my 4S batteries. But let me just give you an example of how much power this has just on 4S. That's right guys, you see it, you see it, oh, you see it, all right, all right, let's power on our, res our transmitter, okay, let's pull them on. Check this out guys, you want to see a hair trigger? Smooth. Barely even hitting the trigger guys. Oh yeah guys, that's what I'm talking about. So that's what I've been up to. I hope you guys like the finished product and what I'm working with here. And unfortunately here in New York, it's a bit cold out so I can't really do any running right now. But I'll be out there before you know it. So I just want to wish everyone out there a healthy and happy new year. And I hope you guys are making it happen in your RC world. And for now, this is Chris, the Everyday RC Guy, saying thanks for watching.